Good morning and welcome back to the World in Focus podcast that provides you with a comprehensive 390 degree perspective on global issues. We explore the profound impact of our professional and our personal lives. I am your host, Dr. Adrian Disley, certified New Insights Life Coach with over two decades of experience in professional and personal development. Not only do I bring insights from years of coaching, but I also serve as a professor of coaching and professional development with the GEPEA UK. As a humanitarian and a proud father of two, I am committed to bringing you a unique blend of expertise and real world perspectives. From time to time, we will also be joined by professionals in their own fields to share with us their perspectives. In each episode, we'll delve into topics that look at how subjects resonate with us both professionally and personally. Whether you're seeking a deeper understanding of the world or looking for strategies to navigate the complexities of life, our podcast is here to eliminate you know, those setbacks, those challenges, and those barriers, as well as to illuminate your path, giving you light and focus. Today, we're going to be looking at a subject that I think is of great importance, um, goal setting. When we talk about goals, sometimes we set goals and we don't achieve our goals and we wonder why. Well, today we're going to be looking at the anatomy of a goal. What makes a goal a goal. Why do some goals um, succeed and why do some goals fail? Um, we see why FW has joined us and Ms. Prene has joined us as well. We see Odin Williams has joined us and we're going to be shouting you out as you join our live this morning, guys. Welcome back to the World in Focus where we give you a 390 degree perspective on global issues. Um, we see also and Jindir has joined us. When we talk about goals, what makes a goal a good goal? Now goals are personal, professional, but they're subject to us. Have joined us. Thank you for joining us. And in the realm of goal setting, um, specificity refers to clear, unambiguous goals. What do I mean? Well, when a goal is specific, it actually leaves room for no, no ambiguity. It creates a space where you don't have to wonder, are you accomplishing your goal? Providing a roadmap for yourself to look at where you are and also looking at what steps you need to take to get closer to your goal is important. And that's why specificity in goals is important. It's not enough to say, I want to do X, Y, and Z. Precision is important. If your goals are not precise, it makes it challenging to understand where you are and where you need to do to, to be. If you don't know where you are and you don't know where you want to get to, then you don't know what steps you need to take to get there. So be specific. You're not only um, defining your goals, but you're also defining your destination. Goals are destinations. They are points of accomplishment. There is no such thing as, as a goal without you know specific measurement, achievable. Um, uh, you have to be able to look at your goal and see what steps you need to take. So consider the difference between a vague goal, you know, and a specific goal. A vague goal might be something like, I want to exercise more, all right, non-specific. While this expresses the desire for an increased physical activity, it lacks precision. Or, um, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't give you any anything to hold on to. On the quant contrary, a specific goal pinpoints the who, the what, um, the when, the where, of the objective. It leaves no room for interpretation. 
and sets a clear standard for achievement. And that's what you want when you talk about goals. Your goals must be, um, let's say for example, let's take a vague goal. I want to exercise more and transform into a specific goal. I will exercise for 30 minutes, three times a week. This is specific. You know, in this specific goal, you've outlined the duration of each um, exercise session for 30 minutes. You've talked about the frequency three times a week. And it implicitly, you know, show you the overall commitment to a regular activity, giving your mind and your body something to actually look forward to. And as if you were looking at a physical goal. The, specific, the specificity provides a concrete target. It makes it easier for you to measure your progress and also stay accountable to yourself and even others that you may have told, well, you know, I want to accomplish this goal. The other thing about our goals is that they must be measurable. Your goal must be not only specific, but it must be measurable. What do I mean? Well, measurability in goal setting is a critical aspect because it involves establishing clear, quantifiable criteria for tracking your progress. Uh, when goals are measurable, they provide a tangible way to assess how far you've come and how much further you need to go. Sometimes when, you're go when you have a huge goal, you can get daunted, you, you can be daunted by the fact that, you know, there's so much to be done to get to, or to accomplish that goal. And that's why when your goals are measurable, it not only enhances your motivation, but it also enables you to make informed decisions. So you know, well, this is how far I am to my goal. These are the steps I need to take. It's something to look forward to. Also,